Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations, and if you're wondering where I've been lately, well, um, last week, which I think was the 15th or the 16th, the 16th I think, the 16th to the 20th was our last week of school, and because of all the snow we had in Michigan this year, we had to add an extra day, so we're supposed to be done on Wednesday the 18th. We were supposed to have a half day, but instead we had a full day on Wednesday the 18th and a half day on Thursday the 19th. So, you can imagine that last week was pretty busy for me. We had kindergarten graduation on Wednesday, so I was trying to get all their gifts and everything ready by then. And, um, we bought them frames, like graduation frames, and I took a class picture and put the picture in there. And then I cut all their names out with my Tailored Expression Sweet and Simple Alpha dies, um, in glitter... Uh, silver glitter paper so that took forever and then I also cut out the year 2014 and glued that on there so that took me so long and then I um, also bought them little tumblers from dollar store or little water bottles from dollar store and I put a couple packs of Kool-Aid in there and said have a cool summer and I threw in some candy in there and I put them all in bags and I wrote their names in the bags and then I had to do gifts for my pair pros and and then I did another year gifts for my my coworkers for my kindergarten team, and then I was trying to pack up my classroom and trying to bring my classroom home and take everything off my classroom walls. So last week was crazy busy, and then on Saturday I went to a friend's uh, my coworker's daughter's grad party, and then I was over at my sister's house for dinner, and then on Sunday it was my niece's um, birthday party because her birthday is. Uh, the 16th of June, so her birthday was Monday. So Monday we had her birthday too. Um, and then Sunday we had her birthday party that I had to go to. And then Andy and I left about an hour after that to go to Mackinac Island. So Andy and I have been, been in Mackinac Island for the last three days. And it's Wednesday and we just got back. So that's where I've been. I've been crazy busy. I filmed a couple videos and I didn't post them yet because I haven't had time, but I filmed them like two weeks ago. So I'm going to try and get those up. I have to film the winner of my giveaway challenge. I only had four entries, so if you were one of those four people that created them for me, you have a pretty good chance, so I'm going to do that um, hopefully today or tomorrow and get that up to you as soon as possible. And then, yeah, so um, I do have a couple like hauls for you, a couple things that have come in the last couple weeks. Um, this video that I'm going to film right now is kind of a big one. It's my Stampin' Up! haul. I go to a monthly club where you have to spend $25 a month um, and there's nine of us and then the hostess each month gets the reward points or the hostess points so you get to spend you know 25 extra dollars or whatever um, but usually when I'm the hostess I like to spend a lot more to get my my total up so I ended up getting like $80 worth of free stuff plus something that was half off and then so I, I bought quite a bit for that and then my friend Michelle also had her new Stampin' Up! catalog party on June 4th and she has a really great deal. She puts out all her retired stuff and uh, she marks it all half price or so. So whatever you get from that, like however much you spend, is if you spend that much in the new catalog you get her retired stuff for free basically. So if I were to, I picked out $65 of her retiring stuff so I had to spend $65 in the catalog to get new stuff. So I got the $65 of new stuff in the catalog and all the other stuff that I got from her for free. So um, I'll show you all the stuff that I got from her and all the stuff that I got from the new catalog, the new catalog party and my um, my hostess thing. So I'll move that. That's the new stuff. So I'll show you really quickly the old stuff. Um, I grabbed the three retiring colors. I grabbed Gumball Green, um, Summer Star Fruit, and Midnight Muse so that I would have those three because I didn't buy any when it was on the clearance rack. Um, I bought a couple other papers. I bought, well, I got the Afternoon Picnic paper. I love this because it's got Wisteria and Pool Party in it. And so it's just like the leftovers that she had. So there's not like a full pack in here, but this is one of my favorite designer series papers. So I thought I'd pick it up from her. I got that one. 
And then I also got, this is the um, Winter Frost Specialty. And I love this one. This was from the mini catalog, the holiday mini. And it had the uh, specialty paper in it with the silver glitter in here. And I loved this paper. And I, I only bought one of them, and I wish I had bought two. So there's a couple extra sheets there. And then I also picked up a couple stamp sets from her. Um, I've always wanted this one and just never bought it. This is the Clockwork set. I got the Toil and Trouble set, which is from the Halloween or from the Holiday Mini. Um, this is the Tag It, which is the Ronald McDonald one. And every year I say I'm going to buy this, and I never do. And so I usually end up picking it up from her because she always buys it. Um, I got the. She gave this one to me for free. For um, everyone in her club got something for free during the June month. So this is what I picked. This is the Your Lovely stamp set. And then I also got the uh, Simply Created Christmas Banner set from her. I never bought any of the banner kits, but I liked this one. And I, I don't know. Oh, well, this isn't a banner set, but it's got like little um, rosettes and stuff that you can make. And I thought it was cute, and I just never bought it. And then I also picked up the flower trim from her. There's still quite a bit on here, and I love this stuff. So I thought I'd pick up what she had left over. Um... And then she had the cherry cobbler sweater trim still, which was from like last year, I think. Last year's holiday, not even the previous year, but the one before. I love the sweater trim. I like to wrap my uh, Christmas presents in that. And then she had, obviously, the retiring in color ribbon with primrose petals. The uh, summer star fruit. She had a whole pack of this. And I charged $3 for it when it's normally like $7, I think, in the catalog. And then the Midnight News, she had a whole pack of this one, too. And then the last thing I got from her catalog party was the in color dahlias, which are the little cabochon and the in colors that are retiring. So there's no raspberry ripple in here, but a dollar for the rest of those. You can't really beat that. So that was all the stuff that I got from her that was retiring. Now, the stuff that I got from the new catalog, the unfun one, I got the, um, what is this color? Strawberry slash refill because I needed like three extra dollars to spend to, to get the 65 so I got that. Um, and then the not so fun stuff also is paper. I bought all of the new in colored paper so um, Stampin' Up! has the bundle where you buy the in color sampler pack plus the ink pads and it's like $30 or something like that so this was my half off price item so I got this for 15 instead of 30 So it just has um, a couple sheets of all the in colors but I'll show that to you here. So this is the Blackberry Bliss, and it's a purple. It's like a deep purple, and I like this one. I love this color. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but it looks almost black, but it's a deep purple. I love it. And then this is Hello Honey. I'm not in love with this color. It looks like a bunch of the other yellows that we have. This one is Tangelo Twist, and it looks exactly like pumpkin pie, so I'm not really thrilled with this one either. Um, I do like this one. This is Lost Lagoon. It's like a... We don't really have anything that's this shade, so I like it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Ocean Tides, but not so much. And then the Mossy Meadow, which is the green, and I'm not really a fan of this one either. It's kind of an ugly green, but there's that. So those are all the end colors, and then I, of course, I got all the ink pads. So there's the Lost Lagoon, Tangelo Twist, Mossy Meadow. Blackberry Bliss and the Hello Honey. And I've had these for a couple weeks and you can see I haven't even had a chance to open them yet. So I have been doing some crafting, but I've had to give away all my cards basically as soon as I make them. So and then I also got the in color markers. So I always get the markers, the stamp pads, the ink pads, stamp pad, the ink pads and the paper. And then we have some new glitter paper. This is the um Dazzling Diamond Glitter Paper, and it's so pretty. So pretty. Hi, honey. And then I also picked up one Designer Series Paper. This one is the Sweet Taffy Paper. I really like this one the most out of all of them. So there's this one. Just the back. Triangles. Looks like a snake skin to me. Big purple dots. I think this is the blackberry, possibly. I'm not sure. They never tell you what color it looks like on the back. 
um, polka dots on this yellow stripe. I like both of those. This is hexagon one. And on the back is just, you can't see it very well, but it's kind of an ombre thing going on there. And then the stripe and then the pink snakeskin looking one on the back. So that's the sweet taffy paper. Um, and then I also picked up the Bermuda Bay marker because I didn't have it and it was on clearance. And I picked up a couple of the new ribbons. So I got, I think, one of each of the new ribbons. So this is the new Baker's Twine, and it's in the 2013-2015 in colors. So they got rid of the Stretch Ruffly ribbon, and they replaced it with this twine, which is a lot thicker than the regular Baker's Twine. Well, there's that. And then the new in-color ribbon for the new in-colors. I love this ribbon. This stuff is... Gorgeous. I got the Blackberry Bliss because purple's my favorite color. And I liked the purple. Never go wrong with purple stuff, so. And of course it won't open. So I can show you. But it's the stitched satin. It's really pretty and it feels really nice. So there's that one. And then we got new cotton ribbon. And I picked up in Pool Party because Pool Party is my absolute favorite Stampin' Up! color. And I really like the way that this feels. It's really thin. Just, it feels nice. It would be really good on bow making, I think. So there's Pool Party. And then I picked up the uh, new Striped Girl Grand River and it's one quarter inches. They had two of these in the um, mini, and I really liked them. And they had something similar to this a, a couple catalogs ago that I really liked, so I thought I'd pick one of these up too. So it's really big. I like the way this one feels too. Striped. So that's all the ribbon that I got. That I'd pick like one of each one to try it. And then I also picked up one of the new washies. This one is called Beach House. There's those three designs. So you have the little skinny pool party one. I don't know which yellow this is, and then I'm not sure which color this is too. But yeah, I don't know because I never tell you the colors on them. So there's those. I think those are cute. And then I did pick up a set of punches. Oh, and I also got the uh, white sweater trim from my friend Michelle. Just found that in the pile over there. Um, I picked up the new Itty Bitty Accents punch pack. And I got it because I like the star and I like the heart. The flower on, on, but I like the new shape of the heart. It's like more rounded. Then they finally have a star one. And speaking of stars, I did pick up the star framelits. My friend Michelle and I have been waiting for star framelits for a long time. So, so excited that they finally got them. Good job, Stampin' Up! Love those. And then... Something else that I've been waiting for Stampin' Up! and Paper Tray Ink to get on board with is the stencils. So Paper Tray Ink doesn't have them yet, but you can make them out of their cover plates. The Stampin' Up! did get the decorative masks that are 8x8, so you can cover a pretty nice size page. And then you have the stars on the side and the hearts. And these are only like $2 for this pack, which is nice. So you have hearts and stars. And then this one is stripes and circles. So I'm going to be using my embossing paste on these, I think. And then I did get um, one of the new banners. I don't have the banner kit, um, but my friend Michelle does have it. So if I want to use it, hers, I can. Um, because the banner kit comes with stencils, which I don't have. But I did like this um, other one, and I was going to make a congratulations sign for my kindergarten graduation. I just didn't get it in time. I got it on like Tuesday night and I didn't have time to do it. So, um, but this is the chalkboard banner simply created kit. So you get, um, paper banners and you get a bunch of these chalkboard banners. So they're chalkboard and then you get twine, you get these, um, tissue paper flower things. So you get banners the same size. So. Um, I do really like this kit. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for now that I, uh, my original intention has already passed, but I'll find something to do with it, I guess. So there's that. And then I only got a couple of the new stamp sets. Um, the first one I'm really excited about, Stampin' Up! has decided to do border stamps. So, and by the way, all of the stamp sets, well, two of the stamp sets I picked up are photopolymer, and one of them is rubber, but I really love that Stampin' Up! is doing photopolymer now. But I got the dotty angles one. So there's two different borders in here. And again, photopolymer. I love photopolymer because you can see through them. I'm not a huge fan of Stampin' Up's red rubber, but you know, it is what it is. They're one of my favorite companies. You you buy what they have. But I'm excited that they have um photopolymer. And then I also got this Hello Love, which is a hostess set. And I think it's super cute. I love it. I love the little birdies. I love the little cloud. I love the speech bubble, the sun, little birdie on the arrow. And this one is rubber. So, and then the last thing I got from both those two orders um, is a stamp set. And this one is so much. I knew it was big, but it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I love the sketchy alphabet. So this one will be good for like scrapbooking and stuff. So I still think that I might go back and get them on my elephant sketchy alphabet. Um, because there's this card size. But I do love this one. This is called Epic Alphabet. And these are gigantic. Oh, and you get some other things down here. And it comes in the, uh, the big wood mount size cases. I can't open it. Because there's because it's such a big set. So if you look at the alphabet. This is the size of this alphabet. Like, look at it with the size of the washi. It is gigantic. I love it. So that'll be really good for uh, scrapbooking. <laughs> Not so much for cards, I don't think. But you know, I like the size. And then again, you get the extra little pieces, which is cool. So that was all that I got from the three Stampin' Up! order thingies that I did. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!